All right, we're all trying to figure out who the Chiefs really are. A lot of you didn't see this coming. Too many of us gave Andy Reid and John Dorsey too much credit early on, I think. I'm convinced that last year's 11-win season was a complete fraud, an unbelievably easy schedule against teams with backup quarterbacks. The Chiefs have played 18 games at count since a new regime took over. After winning the first nine, they have lost seven of their last nine games. This team doesn't look right, folks. Check the depth chart. It resembles a practice squad roster from teams like Seattle and New England and Denver, really good teams. Chiefs lost two of their best defensive players in Derek Johnson and run stopper Mike DeVito. They're being replaced by a guy named James Michael Johnson, another guy named Jay Howard. You go, huh? Who are these guys? They were claimed off the waiver wire last year. It's the second week of the season, and the Chiefs today made 15 roster changes already. Looking at the starting secondary, you have Eric Berry and then a bunch of cast-offs that other teams ran off. Marcus Cooper and Ron Parker and Kelsey McRae and Chris Owens. You can go down the list. What in the world is John Dorsey doing? You have to start wondering about this guy, don't you? His first two drafts looked shaky at best. He just screwed up the kicking rotation. The Chiefs decided to go on the cheap and keep a rookie over the guy with the best field goal percentage in team history. Boy, you talk about red flags, folks. We have no problem spotting them, do we? We know what 2-14 and 14 teams look like. That memory is still too fresh in our minds. That's Jack Smack.